Hey guys, welcome back to Star Fox Adventures. I have already taken the liberty of planting a bomb flower, so let's just shoot it. Boom. And up it blows, and we get two fuel cells in here, and we get a box with a puck puck egg. Not all that good, but whatever. I was kind of hoping for a bomb dad, but whatever. Right there, you get a ton of green scarabs if you need scarabs. Which, uh, at this point in the game, you will need some scarabs. I guess we gotta do something that involves a ton of scarabs. At least I remember it being a ton. Uh, we just got the medium scarab bag, and that can hold a hundred. Much better than fifty. So now you can pretty much just go around and start collecting them again. There's not anything uh, substantial you can buy in the shop right now. Um, if you bought everything that I did, there's nothing special you can buy right now. We need the last scarab bag to buy those, or the big thing. So anyway, in the last part we learned that we needed to head to the seaside, and so that is where we are going to be heading. So yeah. Alright, so come down here, past this thorn tail, and yeah. The food! Dude, what are you talking about food? You got freaking four or five mushrooms, whiny. You should not complain. Anyway, come right here. You always need to take a right. Whenever you come into this area, you'll need to take a right. I don't know why. They put, like, um, transition areas in some places where, you know, it's like an exact mirror of the area on both sides. So, yeah. So, now we are in the other area. And what I like to do here, ever since I first got this game, I always tried to stay to the dark. Like, I try to avoid the light in this room. I don't know why. I just always did. And then right there, it's kind of tricky because you got two right next to each other. And here is the Lightfoot Village. Wait a minute, you call this a village? There's nothing here. Not well. Anyway, just there's some sharp, sharp claws here, so let's just kill these guys. These jokers. And, uh, yeah. Kill you. Hey! I so hit you before you hit me. Boom, 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 boom. Cut. Boom. Down you go. Anyway, talk to this thing. And 60 scarabs to enter Cape Claw. 60 scarabs. We got 60. Yes. You have to pay 60. There's no way around it. As far as I know. As far as I know, there's no way around paying that guy 60 scarabs. So, yeah. And here we have a little maze. If you have a map, it's uh, easier to see. See right there, down in the PDA. It's easy. It is not a hard maze. Very simple. There are some of those, like, licky plant guys in there that'll try to smack you with their tongue if you get too close. But they're not a problem. Anyway, if you want to kill those guys, you have to freeze them. In case you guys were wondering, like, if you could kill them, you have to freeze them. So it's not really worth doing. So here's another area that we got to go through in order to get to the coast. Um, this is, like, just a big well area. You, you only have to go one direction here. Everything else in this area is optional. There's nothing special about this place, as far as I remember. And I can remember as far as I can throw stuff. And I can throw stuff pretty far. Whatever. Sorry. I should stop being stupid like that. Because sometimes I'm funny sometimes, but then I'm just plain stupid sometimes. Anyway, now we are here, and somehow the road is under these blocks. Somehow. Anyway, we are here at my favorite area in the game, Cape Claw. Aside from the cool name, it's just an awesome place. I love the music. Here we have a cutscene. Someone is behind some bars. And Tricky senses that something is amiss. Find out in the next exciting... No. Pfft. No. Find out what is disturbing Tricky in the next exciting episode of... No. Anyway. It's like, oh, no, 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 nothing's wrong. Uh, just come over here. You don't really have to do this, but I'll just do it now. Just to, like, just to do it. Right here behind the waterfall, obviously. As if you couldn't see it from like a mile away. And then the ridge will come out. And then you get a really nice view of the place from up here. And this is Cape Claw. I love this place. It's awesome. The music is really cool, too. Uh, there are tons of holes here. But, uh, I'm gonna save that for just a little bit later. As you can see, there is a big, uh, big dinosaur in there. I've forgotten their name exactly. Sorry. Um, but.
but in the game they're called us uh, they're called high tops you know because they go up high um, come up this way and there is a bribe claw talk to him how much do you want you want 25 just like before but if you're like me if you're lazy and you also just don't want to waste time grinding for scarabs I'm right over here and there is a little thingy what the hello there I was right next to it before jeez right over here and you can fly up and then you if you walk back behind the bribe claw he will not charge you any money anymore here we go. What do you want? When I heard the sharp claw were coming to Cape Claw, I hid my precious gold deep below the sands. My memory's not what it used to be, though, and now I've forgotten where I buried them. With the help of your little friend, you should be able to find them. Return all four gold bars, and I will help you on your quest. Yay! So the high top will help us if we get back his gold, and the gold is all hidden in these little berry, these little dig 'em up spots. So you're gonna need some mushrooms in order to do this. I don't remember if this is one or not. I think this is a Bafom Dad. Pretty sure. Yep, Bafom Dad or a Moogle. I might start calling. I might start calling them Moogles just for the heck of it. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's one over- yeah. Under this box is a dig spot, so just have them there. Dig there. And then we got new versions of the little dig- the little guys that hang out in the holes. So here's the first gold bar. Of course, it's hovering in midair after we dig it up out of the ground. Alright, you have found a shiny gold bar. You got that right, it's shiny. That's in pretty good condition for being buried in the dirt. I think there's another one in here, too. Let's get this. No, yeah, haha. Ha. You thought you could escape my wrath. But nobody can. Uh, doesn't look like it. Dang it. What is it? Get a fuel cell. How? What the friggin' what? Wait a minute. Slippy airdropped us those. So, if he airdropped them, how did it get in a cave? And then how did it get buried in the sand? That doesn't make sense. Now, there's one. There's a gold bar back on that uh, little. They're back there by the bars in the wall. And there's another one over here. Aha, here it is. So have him dig here. And then um, there's one There's one more past those, like, that thorn bush that's blocking a, a cave entrance. Boom, yay. Boom. What the? Come on. Yay, that's what you gotta do. You gotta hit him while he's trying to attack you. Yay, you died. Alright, so now Tricky needs some food. I'm running out of mushrooms. I've only got five left. Alright, hurry up. Come on. Now have him burn the thorns. It's the only way you get through them. And then watch this. They crinkle up like paper. That's awesome. What is this? Paper Star Fox? Paper Mario. What the? Come on. There we go. Come on. Hope I can do this all in one video. Or at least get three of the gold bars. That'd be nice. Come on. Die. Come on. There we go, gotcha, sucker. I got you. See, these guys are a little bit harder to kill than the regular guys. Um, under the water right here, I guess they're trying to throw you off by putting it under water and making it look weird. But under the water is another dig spot. And that's where another gold bar is. We can't get past uh, those little... The hedgehogs right there. It's kind of funny because these things... Um, random fact right here, this is the exact same shape of tank traps that uh, we used during World War II. They were called hedgehogs. You couldn't really, apparently we couldn't move tanks through them, but whatever. Totally random and none of you needed to know that. What the heck are you swimming so fast for, Tricky? You're like, like a freaking fish. Anyway, just go ahead and dig right here. And this is the last one. Hooray. Fuck, fuck, egg if you need health. And that's all four gold bars. Very easy. And then, see, see the bribe claw is standing away from the thing, and we can walk right past him. So it's a lot easier to just blast your way up here with your magic. And then uh, go ahead and select the items in your inventory. Where are they? There they are. Then give them to him. Yay. And if you give all four at the same time, you know, it's very easy, and you just finish it all. All at once. Very simple. And then, kaboom. He stomps his feet, and then a ladder falls down somehow. And then, we
we need to go over there. So, I will see you... Uh, well, yeah, I guess I'll just see you over there at the ladder, so bye.